Prawns are the most important commodity by value in the international seafood trade. The major destinations of the Philippine prawn exports are USA, Japan, Hong Kong, China, Germany, United Kingdom, Taiwan, Spain, France, and Canada. It contributed 120 million US dollars to the total export in value last 2014, exporting 67.5 million US dollars. The dramatic fall in prawns prices coupled with environmental concerns that has resulted in a relative stagnation of prawn grown operation in the Philippines. One of the biggest fears of the fishman owners in culturing prawns is when they start seeing random deaths or unusual changes on the physical appearance of the prawn which sets their business at stake. The municipal bacteria emits lead as the result of a chemical reaction during which chemical energy is converted to light energy. The municipal bacteria disease is one of the major disease problems in shrimps, prawns, shellfish, and finfish aquaculture. Artificial intelligence or AI refers to the stimulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like human and mimic their actions. The term may also be applied to any machine that exhibits traits associated with the human mind such as learning and problem solving. The goals of artificial intelligence include learning, reasoning, and perception. AI can be divided into two categories, weak and strong. Weak AI embodies a system designed to carry out one particular job, while strong AI systems are systems that carry on tasks considered to be human-like. This project can help the fishpond owners understand and analyze the prawns' characteristics that are essential in monitoring their growth and health according to the expected result based on the standard calendar days. The project is running under the Matlab Software Environment wherein we upload the negative images of Lucon on the system and on the other hand, we also upload the positive images of Lucon. With the use of neural network and artificial intelligence algorithm, we were able to train the system to understand the difference between unhealthy Lucon against the healthy ones. With this approach, it is very important that the training image must be in high resolution and quality since training our program highly depends on the image itself. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm Carlet. I'm Nicole. And I'm Samantha. And this is Project Lupon!